Happy Easter on this resurrection morning. As we gather to worship in church today, many of us will hear, The Lord is risen, and we will respond, He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Instead of the bare cross on Friday, churches are filled with flowers. Music is joyful. People are celebrating. We get to revel in the wonder that God has power over all evil. The resurrection of Jesus proves that the power of God's love is stronger than all of evil. So anything challenging that that happens in our lives is something we can bring to God and expect his power to make changes in us, not just in our bodies, but in our souls and spirits as well. On the first Easter Sunday, the women went to the tomb and found the stone rolled away from the entrance. Jesus not in the tomb. It is true that they ran back and told the others what they had seen. Incredible news. Shocking. Could it be true? Jesus' loved ones and friends had been hidden away behind locked doors and were still shell-shocked from what had happened on Friday. They didn't quite know what to do with what they are experiencing today. What was this new reality? Post-COVID-19 and in uncertain times, in our new normal, God speaks to us loudly in the resurrection of Jesus. I love you. I am with you. I have the power you need to live well in love today and every day. Because Jesus is alive, we can live well today and every day in this life and the next. Let's hear these inspiring words today. Can anything separate us from Christ's love? Can trouble or problems or persecution separate us from his love? If we have no food or clothes or face danger or even death, will that separate us from his love? In all these troubles, we have complete victory through God who has shown his love for us. Yes, I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love, not death, life, angels, or ruling spirits. I'm sure that nothing now, nothing in the future, no powers, nothing above us or nothing below us, nothing in the whole created world will ever be able to separate us from the love God has shown us in Christ Jesus our Lord. Heavenly Father, help us today to move beyond an Easter message as information and move into it as lived experience. God, bring your love to life in us today. We trade in our sorrows, our anger, our fears, our frustrations, our uncertainties, our doubts, our burdens. And on this Easter Sunday, we welcome faith and hope and love. We trade in our self-will and sin, and we surrender to you, Jesus. You've proven you are the Savior with the power to change a human life forever. Even though our hearts tremble a bit, we will respond with the hallelujah when the announcement rings out, the Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. Happy Easter, friends. Have a wonderful day.